Yesterday in this chapter, you will get the achievements to measure an angle using a protractor and to draw angles of specified size and also you can draw different geometrical figures using the idea of angle measurement. So, the first chapter, unit 1. Take your notebook and pen so that you can note down the notes. So let's study. So there is a device in your geometry box to measure angle of different sizes. So this is a protractor. Can you see that? So in this protractor there are so many lines drawn on it. And also there are numbers, different types of numbers from 0 to 180. We use a small angle to measure all other angles. And this angle is called by dividing a circle into 360 equal parts. And measure of this angle is said to be 1 degree. We can written as like this 1 degree. So, in this protractor, there are so many numbers. I told you so many numbers from 0 to 180. Can you see the number? So, here, here this is a 1 degree and 2 degree, 3 degree and 10, 20, 30. So these numbers are the degree measures of the angle, degree measures of the angle. And here the number start from 0 to 180 and also the numbers start from 0 to 180. And in this protractor, this numbers this number 0 to 180 is called inner scale and also those numbers are called outer scale. And we use this outer scale to measure and to draw angles on the left side. Okay? So we use the inner scale to measure and to draw the angles on the right side, right side and we use the outer scale to measure and to draw the angles on the left, left side. Okay? So clear. And so first of all, these are the basic ideas of a protractor. So this protractor is used to measure and draw angles of different size. And in this protractor, uh, there are so many numbers and so many lines. Okay, these are the basic ideas of a protractor. Using this protractor, we want to learn. We want to learn how to measure an angle. Okay, how to measure an angle. So write that sub heading. Measure of an angle. Measure of an angle. So first in this chapter, we first learn how to measure an angle using a protractor. Okay. So first, Read the measure, read the measure, but the degree 
crosses the other side. Okay, so from here to here. Okay, so here the degree crosses the this side. Okay, so if we get the angle ninety degree. Okay, so using a protractor we measure the angle A B C. We get the angle ninety degree. The angle with ninety degree is called right angle. Right angle. Right. The angle with ninety degree is called. We want to measure this angle using a using our protractor. First, we place our midpoint of protractor at the vertex of an angle. Vertex of an angle, and here this angle is at the right side. We use the interscale from zero to where the degrees cross the other side is. Other side is here one twenty. So the angle, this angle is one twenty degree. One twenty degree. Here the angle more than ninety degree. This angle is more than ninety degree. So if we call the angle more than ninety degree. Such a type of angles are called obtuse angle. Okay, obtuse angle. We want to measure this angle also using this protractor. Mm, so when we measure this angle using our protractor, we get this angle is 60 degree. 60 degree. So here this angle is less than the 90 degree. So we call this type of angle is acute angle. The angle.
less than 90 degree. So here we learn how to measure an angle and also three types of angle. The first one is right angle. The angle with 90 degree is called right angle. The second obtuse angle, that angle more than 90 degree is called obtuse angle. The last one is acute angle. Acute angle means the angle less than 90 degree. So these are the things today's class we discussed. So these are the things we learned in this class. So I hope the class is clear. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. So the section today's section is over. Thank you.